So I wanted to start this video off with a disclaimer. Um, please stop sending me messages. Inappropriate messages at that. I've been getting a lot of like DMs on Instagram. And of course, this majority of them are from men. And you guys... I'm a, I need you to talk to me like I'm a human being and like you have some sense. The stuff that you guys be like messaging me is wildly inappropriate. And this is gonna be like the first and the only time I'm gonna say this. Sorry. This is gonna be like the first and the only time I say this. If I keep receiving messages like that, I'm not gonna post on here at all anymore. And it shouldn't be that bad to the point where I have to say that. Because like, it's, it makes me wildly uncomfortable and I just... I feel like I shouldn't even have to explain why I don't want messages like that. Sorry, they're strangers and I'm pretty sure they wouldn't want to be in this video. But, um... <clears throat> That's just my disclaimer, <laughs> and I'm just gonna move on. Oh, there's a spider in my thing. That's unfortunate. <clears throat> I thought that like when I had like my a big epiphany, my big self awareness epiphany, and that like when everything got like you know came together, and I like I thought that self acceptance is something is that happens once in a lifetime like when you're at your absolute lowest and then everything's coming together and then you just finally accept yourself once and for all which is probably naive to think about in retrospect because like you're always changing and there's always gonna be something about yourself that you don't like there's always something that you're going to be ashamed of and all these other things at least for me but I've, I've <laughs> been in the space lately for a while where I just haven't I haven't really I haven't been that kind to myself and I know I keep saying like, oh, I'm not posting because like I'm tired and all these other things, which is true. But really, I haven't been posting as often as I used to is because I'm just I'm not really like proud of myself at the moment. I'm, you know, I don't know. I just I thought acceptance was just something that you'd have to go through one time and then you're good but I'm finding myself having to rediscover what acceptance means to me the more you change the more you have to accept what comes with it And it's frustrating, like... <clears throat> I don't really know how to be kind to myself all the time. And, like, whenever, like, people, like, DM me and ask me for, like, advice on stuff, I just, I can't really provide that for you. Because, like, this isn't a self-help page. And I'm not, like, this guru. I'm just a 20-year-old girl, aspiring woman. And I'm just learning as I'm going, like... I feel like people have like this misconception that like I'm just like so wise and I'm in this great place and I've learned all there is to learn and that no <laughs> acceptance self-acceptance is something I'm always going to be a failure out to be honest and i don't say that in like a self-pitying way like oh i'm never gonna love myself blah 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 i say that in, in an honest way <clears throat> i'm always gonna criticize myself 
more than I compliment myself. I'm always going to punish myself more than I reward myself. I don't know, like... <laughs> I've been in this really awkward transition lately where I'm not really sure where I am in, in my journey of it all. Like, you know? <clears throat> I was in like this steady growth like space where I was, you know, I got on my medication and I started like improving a lot my mental health just got better in quality and all these other things but like I feel like I've been stuck in this limbo space this liminal space for a while It's not like I'm not growing anymore. It's just, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. It's so silly for me to think that I would never have to really go through that acceptance epiphany all over again but here I am <clears throat> all this started when I got involved with someone and I don't like how I have this habit of when I get involved with someone it's like I'm just I don't <sighs> I don't really like being in relationships or being involved with anyone because it feels like I just, I feel less of myself. I feel shrunken anytime I like compromise my company with anyone. I don't really, I'm not really sure how I see myself at the moment. And I think that's why I'm just so lost and I, I'm so uncomfortable. <clears throat> and that's why I just haven't really been in the place where I've been wanting to record because it's easy to like record and talk about experiences when like, you know, when you know where you are, you know? I used to think that I didn't know who I was for a very long time, but I had an awareness of <clears throat> who I was to an extent, you know? Like, oh, this is what I like. This is what I don't like. This is what I prefer. This is what I'm passionate about. This is what I hate. This is what I absolutely love. Now, I just, I don't know who I am at all at the moment. It's weird. I feel like everyone talks about like healing and all these other things and changing, but like no one ever talks about the stranger that you become to yourself. When you do begin to heal and you do begin to change. Everyone focuses on making healing their entire identity because no one knows who they are when they aren't healing or when they aren't hurt from something. Hurt defines so much of us. And I've been defined by my hurt for a very long time. And now that I'm not hurting anymore, I don't really know what else there is to look forward to. Experiencing life in its darkest ways has created a bit of a masochist out of me because now I like I've grown comfortable in in pain and in wreckage. I've started well I resonated with pain more than I resonated with pleasure. <laughs> I 
I'm nervous for when I go back on campus because I'm gonna I'm a completely different person I I was than when I left. I don't know the kind of people that I want to surround myself with yet. I don't know. I I don't really know what I identify myself with at the moment. And it's such an uncomfortable feeling. <laughs> Wait. I've got new piercings, I've changed my hair, i changed my job, I've changed the way that I dress, i changed the way that I eat, I've changed so much about me, and none of this change harbors the answer, the antidote of who Zion is. I used to think that it's change that defines us, or our, our lack thereof. But I don't know what defines me. I've been resonating with pain for so long. I don't know who I am too much outside of that. I've been operating from a place of fear and anxiety and dread and depression for so long. Like, I don't know who's driving right now. <laughs> like, you know? I don't know who's driving Zion. I don't know who's guiding me at the moment. And I'm just, I'm tired of thinking about myself of these versions. Like, I'm not this version of myself anymore or whatever. I'm all, I'm, I'm everything that I was and I'm everything that I am. I don't know if this video makes any sense, but. I'm 20, but I'm still 19 and 18 and 17 and 16. I'm an adult, but I'm still someone's daughter and sister and friend. I'm shy, but I'm still very outspoken and opinionated and <laughs> I'm considerate, but I'm still selfish at times and I'm still, you know, <laughs> I just, I'm tired of trying to identify with something. Why can't I just identify as myself and just call it a day? Healing is so much better when you just go with it you know i don't know shit i don't even like identifying my change as healing anymore like i'm just i'm shifting i'm for i we live to shape shift and i just want to identify as a chameleon or a shape shifter or some shit you know I don't even want to identify my life journey as a healing journey because I wasn't I wasn't born with the debt of pain. So why do I have to spend my entire life healing from something that I wasn't inherently born with? The only pain that I knew was the air entering my lungs after months of just breathing in water or however that works <laughs> everything is weird I would love to think that I don't identify with any of my toxic traits anymore but there's times where I still very much am selfish I'm still very much inconsiderate I'm still very much closed-minded and I feel like healing has been turned into like growing healing out of being this toxic person and 
or this negative person and blah 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 but i it puts so much pressure on being perfect indirectly you know because you're like well fuck i don't want to have all these toxic traits i'm gonna have to change them and then like now you identify any bad trait that you have something that's toxic and something that's like tainting your positive aura i don't uh, i don't fucking know i just want to fucking exist <laughs> I'm a bitch. <laughs> but I'm also great. <laughs> And this doesn't bleed into just my identity. Like, this bleeds into everything. Like, I remember, like, the person I was involved with asked me, like, they asked me, like, what is my type? Like, what is my ideal partner? And I honestly couldn't even give her an answer because it's not like I don't have, like, an ideal partner in mind. Like, I know the kind of person that I'd want to be with. But I don't, I don't know the details of anything right now. And it's so weird because as a perfectionist, I am, I'm always looking for like the details of everything. For like, I'm looking for details because in details lies certainty. It, there's exactness there. There's knowing in there. Living life in this blank space where color exists when I paint it and it's weird. I don't know shit right now. The more you think you know, the more you realize that you don't know shit i don't know it's weird like everyone <laughs> makes it seem like healing is like this back and forth thing but what about the in-between space like i don't want to say i don't think i'm healing anymore but i don't really want to call my journey healing anymore i think i'm just a fucking human being and i think i'm just i think i'm just growing up <laughs> And I think that's why I just haven't been recording videos because besides everything I just said, I don't have any wisdom from any experiences at the moment. I don't. <laughs> I don't have any epiphanies to offer. I, everything I've been... <laughs> I've been relearning everything. I've been relearning and unlearning and that's honestly what the fuck life is about and I'm gonna just go with it. I don't want to spend time trying to dissect all the details and decode all the secrets to the universe and bust all the myths and everything. I just want to exist and I'll answer to everything when my time comes. <laughs> I don't want to live life for answers. I want to live life for the experience. Like. The something I hate about school is that they always push you to know what you want to do when you graduate, know what you want to do when you get older, and just like they have to, so you can like have this path and do what you got to do to get out. But I know what I want to do, but I I don't really think about life after graduation that much i think about the fact that i'm going to of course hopefully have a job as soon as i graduate and just go based off of that like i want to live life on free mode
everything has to be orchestrated and it just doesn't feel honest to me anymore i think that's why i've been so out of everything like the only thing orchestrated that i want in my life is routine <laughs> i don't want to plan my future and something i learned in anthropology is that in other languages or in like other countries they don't really have much of like words that signify like a future tense or a past tense like they just everything is just simultaneously existing it's like a weird like loophole of like time traveling that's the way i like to think about it but in america we have things that signify if something is in the past tense or in the future tense and when my professor told me that i thought it was so interesting because i was like wow like and apparently like that that makes a difference in places like china where they don't really have like a definite like past tense or like hi, hi. <laughs> come on say good boy good boy come on, come on. <laughs> where they don't have like a a much of like a thing signifying for like a future and a past they're better at saving money they're better at achieving goals is it's weird it's freaky and that's just the place that i'm at right now like i'm not here or there i'm just i'm now i'm today i don't care about tomorrow i don't too much care about yesterday life is so much better when you're not preparing yourself for the next, you know? I don't want to focus on, like, healing for my next relationship. I don't want to focus on getting better for, like, this next thing. I just want to get better. And I don't want my better to be defined by anything but me. I don't know if anything in this video made sense, but I hope it did. I mean, if it didn't, then it. Shit, I don't even care to make content that is like, I don't know, like. Shit, I don't even want to make content. I just want to label, like, I just want to film my video diaries and label it as that. I don't even want to call it content. I'm not a content creator, I'm just a person. And I like talking to a camera. I was doing this before I had 11,000 people watching me and I loved it, I still love it now. I've been discovering what love, self-love really means lately and it's not It's not just working out and looking good so you can feel good or getting your nails done, pampering yourself. But like I, I've been having to make a lot of tough decisions lately because I've been there before and knowing where those decisions could lead me, having to make the uncomfortable decision of doing what I don't know is hard acceptance and self love is something that I'm going to have to unlearn and relearn every day for the rest of my life <laughs> it's not something that just prophesizes all at once I'm like I get it I've been discovering that a lot lately like a lot of the things that I thought that I just grasped and I knew I'm going to have to unlearn and relearn those things every day for the rest of my life. And that's just a, that's a commitment I have to make. And thank you for 11,000.
I don't know where you guys came from. Like I had 10,000 like a few days ago. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm about to get up because Oh my gosh, my rib is hurt and I'm sitting on the roots of a tree. I wonder if, I don't think I can flip the camera. Yeah, I can't flip the camera. I was going to show my mom. She's reading her Kindle. I get paid this week and I'm going to buy me a bike. So... I'm very excited for that. I don't know if I told you guys, but I fucking bought me a bike from the pawn shop. It was $50 and I had like went inside and I was like, so what's wrong with it? And they're like, what's wrong with what? I was like, what's wrong with the bike? It's $50. And he was like, nothing. And I was like, okay. I bought the next day and damn it, was there something wrong with it? There was something wrong with every fucking thing. My stepdad could even fucking fix it. I was so pissed. I'm gonna buy me a bike. And I'm going to start biking around in my neighborhood. Because I haven't been walking or going to the park in like a month. I haven't been depressed or anything. I've just been unmotivated. <laughs> and I know like that some people are, are like, oh, like, you don't need to be motivated. You need to be disciplined. I don't give a fuck about that, okay? I listen to my body. If I don't feel motivated or passionate to do something... I'm not going to do it. And I've always been that way. I'm always going to be that way. I don't, unfortunately, at my 20-year-old age, I don't really care for discipline. I'm going to be so honest. Um, and I'm not the most disciplined person. Discipline is something that's just going to come with age and experience and fucking up some more. And that's all. But... This whole time I've been thinking I've been like this creative rut or this like art whatever the fuck because um I go to an art school and like you have to oh like you have to just like you have to always be inspired by something you have to know something to create something you know and I've been thinking I've been in this creative rut come like I can't make anything because I don't know what to make and I don't think it was ever that I think it was just the fact that I just I don't know I've been looking at a lot of work from Jean Bacois and I watched like a video about him in interviews and stuff and he just produced art like it was just like he was so fluid with his creativity because he didn't think when he made things he didn't think when he was in the process of creating he just did and I don't think I've ever been in a place like that in my life and now that I've arrived there I'm thinking that there's something I need to do but there's nothing I need to do I just need to be here with it and I just need to exist and that's all I need to do that's the doing <laughs> I'm excited for when I go back on campus because I'm gonna try to apply that to my art or my processes, just just do. There's rarely a moment of my 20 years of living that I've been present. And I've been present a lot lately. It's strange. I hope that wasn't a mosquito. I don't want to live a life that I have to heal from. I want to live a life that I learn from. I'm just... <laughs> So I guess the whole point of this video is telling you that I'm not on my healing journey no more. I'm just on my living journey. 
I'm doing what I'm sent I was sent here to do and it's just to be a fucking human and to exist and none of my spiritual journey and none of my healing journey I'm just on the life journey and yeah and I'm about to go because these bugs are getting vicious so bye <laughs> see y'all later